Hi, everyone. Sri Kumar Pai here. Today, we are going to start one of the most popular and very useful software called Photoshop. This Photoshop can be used to edit any picture. It can be used to create prior banners. There are many uses for this software. It's a very, very powerful software. We learn this step by step without missing any tool. If you are attending this channel for the first time, please subscribe our channel. Click like and also give your comments at the bottom. We'll be learning several softwares step by step, and this is the beginning. So without wasting much time, let us start Photoshop. Okay, let us uh, start the Photoshop class. Photoshop is a uh, nothing but a raster image editing tool. There are two types of uh, formats available. One is the raster image, the other one is vector image. Let me show you a photograph, the difference between the vector image and this is the raster image. Yes, sir. So this is actually a photograph. Vector image, it is just like an work like an object. So you increase, you can take uh, scale this uh, object to any size, but it will not affect. So vector image, you can scale any scale. You, you can make it bigger or smaller, it will not affect. But in raster image, it is not like that. You see, you can see the corners. So this raster image consists of small pixels. Pixels is nothing but like small square type uh, dots. And the image is created using that small pixels. So the, when you zoom an image too much, then the pixels start uh, coming up. And you can, you can see that uh, edges are not smooth. So the raster image consists of small pixels and vector does not have that pixel. It works as an object, okay? And when you change the color, when you modify a raster image, raster image means a photograph, example is photograph. You are changing the pixels size, pixel color. Okay, you are basically working on the pixels when you work with a raster image. So this is the uh, very important you have to understand raster image and vector image. And uh, when you say a raster image, we used to say in resolution, resolution, that is the pixels per inch. Pixel per inch, we call it resolution. Usually for the web and other media, we used to have 72 pixel per inch, that is sufficient. But if you want to take print and other thing, you have to have 300 PPI, that is pixel per inch you require. Okay. And uh, another thing is that uh, when in photograph, in Photoshop, I will show you. thing is that uh, there are, when we open the Photoshop, we work with the two type of color schemes. One is RGB, red, green, and blue. And the other one is CYMK. Cyan, yellow, magenta, and black. CYMK. Okay, these are the two color format we use, but usually we use the RGB for creating the drawings and other things. And CMYK is usually used for printing purpose and other things. Okay, let us open a Photoshop now. Can you see? Yes, sir. Okay. 
So when you open a Photoshop, you get a screen like this. The top one is the menu bar. And these are the vertical tools. When you select a tool based on this, whatever tool you select, you get the options related to that particular selection. This is a menu. This is the vertical toolbar. When you select a tool from here, it gives you options. And this is uh, the, and this is the side you can see the palettes. There are various palettes you can see here, color palette and so many things. And this is the work area. Okay, so this is the work area. Then you can, in the bottom you can see the document size and the, the drawing open, what is the size of that? And here it gives you the name and what type of color code used to RGB. So this is the work area and you can modify this work area. When you open, suppose you don't have toolbars from here, here it moved here and there, you lost and other thing. You don't know, suppose you, you can't see it, then you can easily go to the window, workspace, reset. Okay, you just say reset. So you get back the default settings. So anytime you can go back. And even the work space you can save. Suppose here you want one more panel window. So these are the color panel, layers and libraries. So these are the things open now. Color, layer, libraries. Suppose I want to open history. Okay, so now this is the work area you want to, you can save and give your own name. You can open whichever palettes you want and save. Window, workspace, new workspace. Give a name. Suppose I give name. So this is the workspace I am using now, my workspace. And uh, you lost it again. Anytime you can bring back window, workspace. You can see reset. Sorry. Okay, you can get back that. And uh, so you can make your own work style, everything, keep it, everything ready and save it. And anytime you can go and delete also. Now workspace is, we are in the three workspace, so we cannot delete that. We'll go back to some other thing. So this is the essential. Okay. Okay, workspace. Now we can delete, delete workspace. We can delete. So you can delete and make your own workspace when you like it. So this is about the workspace, okay? Now let us uh, move on to some other things. Whenever you open a picture or a, okay, what happens is, this is a move tool. I can't move this. I can't move this. Suppose I want to move this, picture not possible because it is the background image. Background image, you cannot move. So what you do is you double click this and make convert into a normal mode. Okay, now you can use the move command and move here and there. Okay, you can use for moving another thing. So. Uh, and always better to make the background image to normal image for your own editing purpose. And once I this, I can make it smaller or bigger. Okay, so if I just like this, the it will lose the length and width. So never use uh, like that, undo. Always when you want to proportionally make it small or bigger, press your shift button, then you drag. Okay, and sometimes you can, uh, and once you make it smaller, you can accept this. 
And many of the time what happens is you will not see this uh, when you select this object, you will not see the controls. So you have to switch on the show transform controls. You can see the controls. Okay. So this is a very important. So you can use the move tool for moving the object. See, suppose this auto is not on, what happens is whatever you have selected, it is moving. But how will you select this? It's difficult. You have to come here and select. You have to select the, then only it moves. Okay, so always better to see that you make the auto on and show transform control on. So both you make it on, it will be easy for you to understand. Now, since auto is on, I can select whichever image I want. And I can move wherever I want. Okay, if you have new version, you may have some many advantages are there. And suppose I select all these three. I can use to, I want to make it all the things in the same line, I can make it. So the top, it is all aligned. Bottom. Bottom line, it's aligned. So there are some alignment controls here you can use for controlling the arrangement of the images you selected. So I hope uh, you got some idea about this. So we have learned how to create a workspace. Then we so how to create, how to use the move tool. We have gone through the toolbar. So we'll be one by one, we'll be going through later. Toolbar, vertical toolbar, menu, this option toolbar, and here palettes. I hope up to here it is okay. So we'll stop it here today. I hope. We got some idea about Photoshop, which was only an introduction. And we'll start learning tools from next class onwards. As I requested, if you are attending this channel for the first time, please subscribe and also inform your friends. Thank you very much. See you next time.